Hey there you great people, so the countdown is well and truly on now with less than one and a half months until I'm in the great USA and I cannot wait. So please do subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can join me on an adventure of a lifetime. Um, you won't miss out on the amazing sights, scenery and all the fun stuff I'm going to do if you subscribe to this channel. And especially if you hit that notification bell as well, really important. Each and every single subscribe, comment, like, and hit the notification bell matters to my small channel so much. And I'm hoping you've just watched my last video, which was in tribute. Um, I have to get a nice comment from JJ Soloist there in the great Philippines, who said about me making a Pinoy Adobe, or Adobe, I think. I've done something very, very similar with what I had. Um, so... Let me know what you think about it. You know, did I do a good job? If you're in the Philippines though, and obviously you know what you're talking about. I had to go anyway. And by the way, I've just tasted some and it was absolutely amazing. You know, the tang of that vinegar, the saltiness of that soy, the sort of warmth. And I don't know, I can't really explain butteriness of that garlic, uh, the heat of the peppercorn, which actually was quite mild. To be fair, the sweetness of the prawns and that coconut milk is fantastic. If you've not watched the video, I'll have it pop up on the screen at the end of this video. Or right towards the end anyway. So thanks for all the suggestion once again, yeah. I've got a goodness in people video here for you. Cause it's been about three or four days. And it's going to be an amazing video. And it's called Feeding the Homeless Feet or Featuring Scott. So let's get into this. I think, by the way, Michael put this on his channel about three or four weeks ago. So... I'm um, reacting to it now. The things you take for granted, someone else is praying for. Damn right. And by the way, Connie, well done on getting your uh, hygiene packages ready for Tucson. Uh, ready. And what are you doing over here? And Scott. Dr. Pepper, I guess. Yeah, looks like it. Do you like to read? And by the way, Yes, I am smoking on a video and again, but I'm just looking across. It's like 20 past 11 uh, in the evening here. Um, I literally, I've literally just started, sorry, stopped recording and I've just edited and everything that uh, Filipino cooking uh, video. And I'm literally just had time to roll a cigarette and straight on to recording this. So let me off. Little, Give me a little leeway. Yeah, I've barely stopped all day today, replying to comments, making videos, editing stuff, you know. So give me a break, please. <laughs> we'll enjoy this video. And we're not used to seeing Scott in this position. If you watch the videos with Scott in, in the past, he's usually on that really nice picnic bench area in the park there with the wooden structure over it with the barbecue in front. So. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Lisa said she has some more books coming for you too. I might have, I might have them waiting for me now. <laughs> so I'll let you read those. Can I just ask Michael as well? Um, I've thought about this in the past. If my channel ever gets the stage where it gets big enough, where I get donations, I don't mean donations that are for like me, for me to use and me to benefit from. I mean donations like you're being sent, like books then to give out to homeless. How do you go? How do you go about? Sorry, making one of these peel box things because obviously, I don't want to give everyone my exact address and everything else. But you can have these peel boxes. So I think that's what he's talking about, where people can send this to a peel box into a post office, I guess, um, or a mail centre, and you've got a 
a guess a lockable box uh, where they put stuff in for you and it's not your, your home address i'd love to know and uh, see if you do watch this video michael i know you've watched some of my videos which are your videos incidentally that i'm reacting to but you know what i mean yeah i see trevor on the streets he's Yeah, he, I didn't. Just, I haven't talked to him, but he's wearing the same pants he was wearing nine months ago. Really? I mean, I don't know. Why? Yeah. It's hard. You hungry, buddy? Yeah. All right. You got one dude tell you that Batman don't fuck with? No. no. Mm -hmm. I have like a place where you can put your ID and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and there, and a pad on it. Awesome. And then light up. <laughs> if you got batteries, but then if you haven't, you Michael's some got some. Money. We know that. Met of batteries Michael has given to Scott there for his radio for that picnic uh, spot that he's normally staying at. Wow. Probably enough batteries to power a space shuttle up from America, from Cape Canaveral up to the uh, International Space Center, probably the batteries Michael's given to Scott in the past. Wearing the same clothes he was wearing six months ago. It's, it was terrible. Wow. And he looks like he just crawled out of a, a, a gutter. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Good on you, Michael, as always. Seriously. Every single day. Same, same, same. Give, 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 give. All the time. So, so many people around the world love you, Michael. With compassion, kindness, and just warm heartedness, you know. Incredible. Every time I see your videos, which is pretty much one a day, really, you're already, you're always fully stopped. Boxer, oops, UTZ. Looks like a Wendy's box, or am I wrong? Too right. What a nice guy. What you do, Michael, is really appreciated. It is. He's so polite, this young guy here. Like Mountain Dew, Dr. Pepper? Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. I, I, I quite like Mountain Dew as well. It's not bad. You can get it here, by the way, in England. You can get it everywhere. Take care. We'll see you again. Thanks for telling me about Trevor. I'm going to go find him. He just looked like uh, when, when I saw him last, which was uh, two days ago. It didn't look like stopping to talk to him was going to work. No. So I, I just kept going. Oh, here you go, buddy. Oh, nice and sport things, the plastic ones. Let me go get this stuff. No beer. No beer, buddy. Did you say you've got any beer? You no. Just like to say quickly, it's going to be really difficult in Tucson, Arizona. And again, Connie, I know you appreciate your shout outs, but it doesn't matter. It's just natural, you know. I'm going with Connie and her husband, Wiley, who I'm going to be uh, living or staying with, maybe living one day, you never know. Um, and their grandson, Andrew, um, their son, uh, Rory, and his wife, Beth, and me, obviously from Minnesota. I've said this before, just outside of Grand Marais down to Tucson, Arizona here uh, to help these people in just, what, a month and a half, five weeks, even a month and a half, less than that. Um, I'm just seeing here, like, he goes to, goes to Scott and within seconds another guy appeared who's actually really nice and friendly and this other guy just appeared um, asking for beer and this, that and the other. I mean, I'm going to be on extremely limited funds. I'm going to do everything I can when I'm down in Tucson with you guys to help as much as I can where it's... Uh, doing some hot dog uh, cooking to give away to the homeless, some nice hot dogs done on a grill, a barbecue, whatever. 
um, all bits and pieces like the odd dollar here and there, some uh, rolled cigarettes, a bit like these, um, and you know, other bits and pieces of food and soft drinks like waters and you know, Dr. Peppers and whatever. But it's gonna be difficult, you know, with the amount of homeless there are there to we can't we can't affect all of them in a positive way, uh, while we're there. We haven't got the time and just resources, it's impossible, you know, you have millions of pounds, you're still not gonna make a massive dent in that problem there obviously because they're everywhere you know um i just don't want to disappoint no one and have to say tell people look i don't have another dollar in my pocket or this thing another but i'll damn well do my best to do everything i can while i'm there with you guys for sure By the way, I've struggled to live myself. Bills are very expensive these days, like utilities and uh, food and, you know, and it's tough, tough times for everybody, you know, for me, for everyone, you know, I'm not rich. I don't make nothing from YouTube. I've said that before. I don't make a penny from this YouTube channel at all, yeah? I'll do it for the love because I enjoy this, yeah? If I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't still be doing it. And I wouldn't have done 300, almost 300 videos in seven months, you know? I'm committed and I love it. Your comments are worth it. They've been in the Philippines, the USA, Canada, South Africa, Australia, UK. You're all great to me, you know. I appreciate every single one of you. St. Paul Church. Connie, can you please write this down in your notes? Yeah, please. For me, well, for all of us. St. Paul Church, and I'm guessing that's in Tucson, in the lo very local area to where this guy is here. Um, they said he, this guy here, Isaac, I think he said it was. They do a breakfast service type thing for the homeless at the St. Paul Church um, in Tucson, Arizona here. Please write that down and remind me. And... Um, I'd love to do a few hours in there in the morning on the breakfast service, helping out, you know, helping out to cook and whatever. Maybe we all can one day. And film my GoPro, you know, capture it all, because other subscribers, people around the world, want to see this kind of thing. So write it down, please. Yeah, good. I'll write it down myself in a minute on the pad. Right, nice. oh, <coughs> it's another good idea, I think. I Help out in the morning and in the afternoon. Nice. Do some barbecue grilling for these homeless, giving stuff out like hygiene packs and you know the rest and drinks. Oh, okay, it's Catholic or Christian or whatever. I'll I'll still help any of them. I'm not I'm not really that faithful in terms of. I was born a Christian, I suppose. And I was baptized. Call it baptized? Your head gets dunked in the water in the font, whatever. I don't know. That's how much I know. Nothing, are they? But I don't. I've got much interest in churches, but if I can go to St. Paul to help out in the breakfast service, I will in Tucson. Sorry, I got smoke in my eye. Well, this private property, you're allowed to be there. Yeah, I have permission. I got permission by the owner and the guy that lives there. So good for you. Yeah, so the whole golf owner is everything. I've seen the local golf course on Google Maps as well, what he's talking about. It's going to warm up. You won't be needing that much longer. A few more days. God bless you. Back to Scott again. Wait, you need anything else? Some spam? 
you down there. I didn't know where to find. I knew you were in the park. Yeah, I was in the park this morning. I think they went to go get old uh, Chris out of the bathroom. With the cat? Yeah. No, Chris. Yeah. I say it off the time for me to go, you know. <laughs> <laughs> in California on the beach, the homeless live in the bathrooms and, and they plug the locks so you can't get in. Oh, really? So you can't put the key in from the outside? Wow. I slept underneath the lifeboat. Take care, guys. Yeah. Just like to say quickly as well, that sign behind Scott there on the bench, on the bus stop bench, Repark Zoo. I'm going to have a look up on that place in a minute on the tablet once I've finished recording this video you're watching right now. Uh, I'd love to go and visit that with you all, uh, Connie, uh, Wiley, um, Andrew, you know, Beth, Rory, or, you know, you don't all have to come, but I'd love to visit that as long as it's not too expensive. Like I said, I'm struggling to keep going as I am now, just paying the bills for my own place here, you know. It's expensive in England. Everything's so expensive here compared to the US. Believe me, it is a struggle all the time, you know. But if it's not too expensive, and I'll have a look in a minute, like I said, I'd love to visit this Reed Park Zoo as long as it's not too far away and obviously I can get there, you know, with one year in one of the trucks or whatever. So bear that in mind, please. And Crystal again, we haven't seen her for a while. Go back that way. We'll turn around, do a loop round and meet her on the corner here. How have you been? Okay, yeah. right. you look nice. Well thank you, you look nice too. She's got a lot of Oreos there. <laughs> By the way, I'm thinking, I think I'm at 284 videos, maybe, with this one and the Filipino cooking video I've just put up. I've been thinking about what to do for my 300th video, which is what, like five, six videos, whatever it will be away. Well, I'm thinking I might do a celebration of the USA video, maybe a home cooking or if the weather's okay, a barbecue um, video out in the garden there, you know, barbecue grilling video. Um, so I would do some classic American barbecue food um, on the barbecue here, or maybe a classic American home cooking um, dish. Um, I'm going to have a think. Um, if some of you want to let me know in the comments what I might be able to do or what I can do, and if I can afford the ingredients and everything else, then I'll have a go. I'm just trying to think out of the box at the moment, you know, to bring you exciting all the time and new content and something different, you know, something that's never been done before and never been done on my channel for sure, you know. Thin mints. You like thin mints? Yeah. There's some, I think there might be some dosy doughs. Yeah, there are. You want some dough? You like dough? You like peanut butter? Yeah, thank you. Oh, did I hear somebody stole some stuff? Yeah, he cleaned my, my plate. I don't mind peanut butter as long as it's not with jelly and cheese like uh, you did, Rory. Stole Just wrong, wrong, wrong. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, he disappeared. <laughs> you still around? Each to their own, as we say in this country, yeah? In other words, everyone's got different taste buds oh, and likes and that? dislikes, yeah? <laughs> Yeah. 
Why are we, why are we spinning? <laughs> they look like Harry Bow to me. Are they sweets, yeah? Harry Bow. Like chewy sweets. Think. I can't tell because I'm in the way, to be honest. They look like Harry Bow. Packets of flavoured sweets. You would be there probably for sure, um, yeah. Did you get everything out of here you wanted? Yes. Nice to see Crystal again anyway. Which one do you got? You wanna buy a flashlight for me? I would like to. I don't have any How much you got? I need that. A I little lantern. Oh, I'm just starting. You really need one. Yes. So I can charge you more? Yes. There you go. Thank you. Fifty bucks. I had um <laughs> Nice ones. And they disappeared. Jackass came last night because I moved them. Is that his real, is that his real name? <laughs> Jackass. <laughs> he came and he took the top part of the solar light out and left the okay, I left the pole the stick in the ground. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you these a couple of extra milk. I have, I have these uh, grocery bags here. You can have these too until you get Oh, I'll put the stuff in. There you go. Thank you. How have you been doing? Doing all right. Take you some drinks out of here. How's your protein? My dogs? Yes. Mm -hmm. How'd you know I had dogs? Because I remember you said one day. I remember him I'll saying that. With the fuel and everything oh, I gotta go feed my dog. Gotta feed the dogs. Oh, I remember. See what some of Michael's dogs on these one of these videos if he takes them out on the streets with him. That'd be nice. What's that iced tea and coffee? Oh sorry, not for me. I've tried it before. Coffee and tea has gotta be warm for me. Sorry, with boiling water, not in bottles, refrigerated. And all iced. Tell. She's as bad as me, keep coughing. That, that's not funny, that happens. I know. It that does. Happens. Happened to a neighbour that used to live in this building many years ago. And I was like, don't! And he's all, what? And he was all black. I will tell you that when, uh, if you get prescribed oxygen, they have a counseling session with you about smoking. With the, with, you know, and it still happens. You forget about it, I guess, after a while. No, they just don't care. <laughs> Let me see. Here. Amazing. Wet wipes. I want to make, let me give you some Body more. Wipe. You're out of food completely, right? You got, you got ripped off? Okay. Shame in it, these homeless people are literally robbing each other because they're that desperate. That's the state they've got into, they're that desperate. They're just robbing from each other. Are they potato chips, I guess? Or crisps, as we call them in England. You like, you like, you eat tuna and chicken? No, chicken, yes, but no tuna. No, no tuna, that's right. You're, you're the one that's allergic to fish. She doesn't like tuna salad in the boxes, yeah. <laughs> ain't trying to kill you, don't worry, it's chicken. And the pouches. At least some yogurt. Store quest. What does it say? Store quest. Oh, self, self storage. 
Looks like he's back to Scott with another buck, is he? Or another buck or two? Can I just ask a question on this bench here, yeah? You've got them what look like iron bits sticking up, yeah? On the little bench for sign it to this side, which we just seen the yellow one, it'll probably show it again. It's got like some mesh type case stuff, some wire on top. Is that literally put on there, just like this is here, to stop the homeless sleeping in these bus stops so they can't lay down on the bench? Let me know. If it is, I think that's out of order. I think it's really cool. He ain't now, because I'm having the sandwich, yeah. Good on you, Lisa. I don't know why she picked Arby's, but maybe, uh, did I get you Arby's before? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I did? That's how many times you caught it. Okay, yeah, maybe she remembered that or she just likes Arby's. And then maybe she just ate at Arby's today. <laughs> there you go. I'm pretty oh, sure I remember one day one of these videos when Scott was on the picnic bench. I'm pretty sure he was there. Uh, Michael asked him if you could have anything like food, like takeaway food, takeout food, in the world right now, what would you want? I'm pretty damn sure, I might be wrong here, yeah? This one of the videos I did, I'm goodness in people, I'm pretty sure he asked for an Arby's, like a Sunday roast type thing, a roast dinner type thing, I'm sure he did, yeah? I might be wrong, and I can see the lid on this thing, whatever it is, probably iced coffee or tea, looks like a Starbucks lid on that. Arby's burgers, I've looked at the menu online in America, um, or from here, but the American menu online, it doesn't look bad to me. But we have the burgers. Yeah, when last people have come yesterday. Last night. I, when I left, I saw your read right, right. I was driving down the street. Now, yeah, I was looking at the, the other picture, the other book, the photo book. Yeah. And pictures in. Oh, I like books with pictures. Yeah, it's I easier. I think it's much intelligence to read them. Well, Anything all time. Else? Good on Let me you. go get you some cigarettes. I just forgot to grab them. Give me a second, brother. Good on you, Michael. And by the way, I'm, I'm almost completely out of tobacco right now for the next few days. Got about enough for two or three cigarettes left to roll. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Yep. See you again, Scott. No one has ever become poor by giving, and that's damn right. Like I was just saying, I've got enough tobacco, maybe to roll three, four, five little rolling you know roll your own um cigarettes and that's till friday and right now it is uh what is it like um quarter to 12 midnight on tuesday 28th of march um, so i'm gonna be struggling the next few days with no without any smoking i've smoked for 20 years i'm not condoning smoking and i would never endorse it to be honest you know so expensive and obviously i want to live a long life to enjoy keep doing my youtube channel having adventures of lifetimes into America, maybe the Philippines one day. I know you said Sonia, but visiting your country one day. If I'm ever in a position financially, um, I'll come and visit, and you can be my tour guide, Sonia Lala, by the way. Yeah, for sure, why not? You live once, remember that. Make the most of every single day and every breath you take. And just be happy for all you have, because like these people here, have got nothing really, you know, without people like a Michael, St. Michael on the streets. Some of them, most of them people probably wouldn't have eaten nothing that day, that week, or even had a cigarette, you know. That's a little comfort in life if you do smoke, you know. So, yeah, good on Michael, as always. And by the way, thank you for the support and keep watching my channel, you know. I do try. To the point of exhaustion some days, I know. And by the way, no, I've not made my mind up yet. My hair is still thick. I know Connie said, what her? It's actually... I don't want to do this, but 
and we do that it's a lot thicker than you think the only thing i've done earlier on is use the hair clippers what you normally use on your head because they're so gruff and just cut my face and uh neck and everything else with them it's so uh, grizzly like a grizzly bar so i've cut all the stubble out and everything else you know please go ahead and check out my other great content and playlist on this paul v Hossin 85 and please also don't forget to like, especially subscribe and hit that notification bell, guys, girls and everybody else. Thanks again, once again for tuning in. Love you all.